Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're doing very, very well. It's been a while since I've done a video here on YouTube, but I'm planning to come back and to come back with more spontaneous videos without any written scripts. I don't want to do vi uh, voiceovers anymore. <laughs> I want to be more spontaneous and I want you to get to know me better. So I want to talk without uh, write uh, all the things that I have to say. I want to tell the things and express myself in a more genuine, you say genuine or ordinary way. Uh, you get the concept, I think. So I'm starting with this video, even if my voice is not so good because I had the flu in the last days. But now it's getting better and I wanted to start doing videos for YouTube. So this video is about reorganizing my watercolor palettes. I have a lot of small, medium and bigger palettes, but having so many palettes uh, all around the house or, and all around the studio doesn't help me to have a clear idea of all the colors I have. So I never use some colors because I never see them and I usually use one single palette every time and I forget having <laughs> all the other palettes. So I decided to buy a very big palette like it has 48 spaces for 48 half pens or 24 bigger pen pens but I usually buy only half pens so I want to put 48 colors in it and I'm trying also to clean the pens I have because some of them are very dirty and I hate putting uh, dirt pens in a new watercolor palette so uh, what I'm doing here is just wetting the pen and then going on top with a piece of paper.
So those days I'm using this big palette for my watercolor paintings and I find that I finally can use all the colors I have. So for example, if I need a red, I can see all the reds I have, like I have 10 reds and I'm going to use one of them. And each time it can be a different red because I can see now and I can have underhand all the reds I have. The bad side of this experience is that I have more than 48 half pans of watercolors. So I would need a bigger palette, uh, like, I don't know, 50, no, I think 100. 100 spaces would be okay for me. I have a problem with watercolors. I continue buying colors and I have to stop because I don't know where else to put them. So since I don't have the space for all my watercolors, I decided to keep a smaller palette and to put there all my earthy tones. So all the browns and black and um, sienna brown or sienna nature. So I decided to keep a, a palette for all these kind of tones and to put all the other colors in this bigger palette. Even though I did this kind of selection of colors and I've thrown away some of the colors, I still have the space for putting my Daniel Smith watercolors and my White Knights watercolor that are like full pans, so are very big. So I have two other palettes, one with uh, 12, I think, uh, full pans of the brand uh, White Knights and another palette that contains, I think, um, 20 or 24 um, Daniel Smith uh, half pans and another palette with the Lucas watercolors. <laughs> so yeah, I have other, more other free watercolor palettes other than this bigger palette with 48 half pans and the smaller one with the earthy tones. So I still have a lot of colors that I don't have the time and um, the chance to enjoy them and to use them. But I think this is still a step forward to using more colors than the same ones over and over again. And I'm trying, I'm really trying not to buy other Godet. Please, please, watercolor brands, help me and don't produce other colors because I don't want to um, waste colors. This is the true, uh, it's not about only the money, but also because it's very sad when you don't use colors and I don't want to be sad. I don't want to be sad and I don't want to have sad watercolors in my pans uh, and in my watercolor palettes. So this is the video. At the beginning, I wanted to do like a relaxing video with only the music in the background and just me reorganizing the watercolor palettes. But I thought it would be nice to tell you something and to come back with uh, this spontaneous way of telling things even though I do a lot, a lot of mistakes, because for those who don't know me, I'm a Romanian slash Italian illustrator. I'm living in Italy currently, so I don't have the chance to practice English so much. And I want to improve it by doing these videos. And also with your help, if you want to correct my mistakes, please do it in the comments. Uh, I don't mind. And uh, it, I also appreciate the people that want to help 
and not only to critique the others that are doing mistakes. Um, thank you again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed almost the part, the video part where you can see how I clean colors and how I put them in the palette. And I'm going to do some other videos with more content, like more useful content. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. And meanwhile, I hope you'll have a great weekend full of creativity and art. And I see you next week, still on Friday, since I think Friday would be a nice date to post videos. And thank you again. Bye.